Question 1. Explain various parts of Microsoft Self-Service by Solution. Answer. There are two main parts of Microsoft Self-Service Business Intelligence Solution. They are, Excel by Toolkit Power by Define Microsoft Power by. Question 2. Define Excel by Toolkit. Answer. Allowing users to create interactive report by means of importing data from a wide range of sources and model data account to requirement. Question 3. Define Power BI. Answer. A cloud-based data sharing environment. Power BI allows anyone to analyze and visualize data with greater efficiency, speed and understanding. Besides, it helps in connecting users to a wide range of data with the help of easy-to-operate dashboards, compelling visualizations, and interactive reports bringing data to life. Question 4. Differentiate between Power Buy and Power Buy Pro. Answer. Power Buy offers various kinds of features to help you get started searching data in a complete new way. On the other hand, Power Buy Pro caters with some additional features like scheduling data refresh more often than on daily basis, more storage capacity, live data sources along with complete interactivity, and much more. Question 5. What is the cost for Power Buy? Answer. Both Power Buy Desktop and Power Buy are free of cost. While for Power Buy Pro, a user is required to pay $9.99 per month after completing 60-day free trial. Question 6. What the term Power Buy Desktop means? Answer. Can be installed on your computer. Power Buy Desktop is a free app that works in cohesion with the Power Buy service by offering advanced data exploration, modeling, shaping, and report creation with the use of highly interactive visualizations. Moreover, it allows you to save your all work to a file for publishing your reports and data to Power Buy site for sharing with others. Question 7. What are the basics needed for using Power Buy? Answer. To use Power Buy, all you need is a web browser and a work email address. Please be informed that work email addresses finishing in .mil and .gov are currently not supported. Question 8. What is the need of signing up with work email? Answer. Power Buy is not supporting email addresses given by telecommunications providers and consumer email services, thus there is a need of signing up with work email. Question 9. Name the work email addresses that are currently supported. Answer. Work email addresses that are finishing with .org and .edu are currently supported. Question 10. Which pricing is available for Power Buy from academic, government and non-profit? Answer. Non-profit pricing is currently available for Power Buy only when availing it directly from Microsoft, while academic and government pricing for Power Buy is provided via the EA, MSOP, direct and open licensing programs. Besides, government pricing can also be availed in syndication. Question 11. Is there are support available for mobile devices by Power Buy? Answer. Yes, Power Buy supports mobile devices. It has some native apps for iOS devices, Android smartphones, and Windows 10 devices. You can download and install Power Buy mobile apps from the following app stores, Google Play Apple App Store Windows Store. Question 12. What data sources can be connected to for Power Buy? Answer. There is a wide list of data sources you can connect to for Power Buy. They are groups as mentioned below, connectors to databases and some other datasets like Azure SQL data from Power Buy desktop files and Excel content packs for reports, services, and datasets. Moreover, along with establishing a data connection, Power Buy offers pre-built reports and dashboards for each of these services. Question 13. Define content packs? Answer. These are pre-built solutions used for popular services as a major part of the Power Buy experience. Question 14. Various Excel Buy add-ins? Answer. Power Query to find, edit and load external data power view for designing interactive and visual reports power pivot to analyze data modeling power map for displaying insights in 3D map. Question 15. What must be installed to use Power Buy? Answer. For using the service of Power Buy for free, one just need a web browser and work email. With this, you can explore data as well as create reports in Power Buy Desktop. To get Power Buy mobile apps, you can head to their respective stores. Google Pay, App Store and Windows Store. Question 16. How one can get started with Power Buy? Answer. There are some resources to get assistance and get started with Power Buy. They are as follows. Webinars Power Buy blog. You can get started with an article on Power Buy. You can get started with a video on YouTube. Last but not the least, joining a related community and get answered. 
Question 17. What is the procedure for buying Power Buy Pro? Answer. Power Buy licenses can be purchased at www.powerbuy.com. Besides, you can also get assistance from a Microsoft partner to aid you with the implementation of Power Buy. Question 18. Is the Power Buy service accessible on premises? Answer. No, you cannot avail the service as private or internal cloud service. However, with the use of Power Buy and Power Buy Desktop, one can connect securely to their own on premises data sources. Question 19. Which language is used to calculate calculated column field in Power Pivot? Answer. DAX, Data Analysis Expression, is used for calculating calculated column field in Power Pivot. Question 20. What is DAX? Answer. DAX is a formula language used for computing calculated field and column. For doing basic calculation and data analysis, it is used on data in Power Pivot. DAX supports column values. It is not capable of inserting or modifying data. It cannot be used to calculate rows, though you can calculate measures and calculated columns.